All right, quick unboxing and quick history video. I got my whole collection here. Today is the official release day of Dead or Alive 6, which I will unbox. If you pre-ordered this game at EB Games, surprisingly, they gave out this really beautiful steel case for it. Xbox One or PS4 version. They gave it out. Anybody who pre-ordered. So I thought that was a very, very nice, delicious touch from the company, honestly. Having Ninja Gaiden in the back. And I can't recall who's in the front. But I'll figure it out soon enough when I play the whole story and everything. I love this franchise. It's been in my life since 1996. With the very first one had a special feature that will remain nameless. It's funny how the game would sell with this at very first, and I think it's still selling for that, but it is a very nice, solid fighter game still, and I'm happy because they announced like a couple of years ago after Dead or Alive 5, it was the last one ever. They're not making another one, and a year ago, we got a surprise that they are still making one, so I'm happy the franchise is not dead. Look at this, available only on Dead or Alive, Beautiful Woman, Dangerous Zone Mode, Reversal Attack, yeah. The Beautiful Women part and that super option that makes you jiggle the belly uh, lighter or harder, I don't remember. I don't want to name it out, but that's that was the selling point back in the days. So Dead or Alive 1, 1996, loved it, but then came a, a revolution, that was, that was... The selling point, I think the franchise really peaked with this one. Dead or Alive 2 was a tag team, four-player local co-op on Dreamcast, and it was intense and very good fun. It was, it was a classic, still is, still is the best that I can call out, I think is still, was what a revelation, and one of the best, still one. Of the best 1999 for this one i think I, I i recall having my dreamcast it was one of my first game on a dreamcast after that uh tecmo Ned team ninja went uh very 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 xbox e we have the volleyball franchise also their life but i never got into that i thought it were really boring games it was basically just for guys who wanted to see the girls in bikinis and stuff. Then Dead or Alive 3 came out and it pissed off a bunch of people I remember because it was an exclusive for the Xbox only and that was in 2001 as I recall that I can remember. Yeah, Dead or Alive 3 2000, 2001. And the graphics was such a revelation and people freaked out and it was the best looking one. Then after that, still Dead or Alive 4, I think was still an Xbox 360, only Microsoft exclusive, only came out on there. And after that, 5, I can't recall what 5 came out on first, I think it was both of them. Then the, the franchise exclusive thing was done and Dead or Alive 5 came out on PlayStation and Xbox. And then we had last round. In between that, somewhere in there, there was a remastered of Dead or Alive 1 and 2 for the regular Xbox. Dead or Alive 5 last round came out. I can't remember. I think it was 2015. And now, 2019, we get Dead or Alive 6. Plus... I got a DLC pre-order bonus, a bunch of suits, a bunch of stuff. I can't wait to play it, see what it's going to be. I think I'm going to live stream this tonight for the very first time. I promise, whatever the time, I will live stream. So I can't wait to play this, see where the story goes. Funny thing is, when you open the box and in the back, it's written 2018. Did we, did we miss out something? Was this game already made in 2018? I'm crazy. Tired. Like, it's been a really hard winter. I'm losing my mind. Maybe I, I should take a break. Stop making unboxing and buying games. I'm just, wow. Oh, game disc looks a little bit like this. I wanna see what my disc looks like in my very nice 
steel case. Thing about steel case, might I add, I want just want to point that out. I was the first to go get my copy in stores, and EB Games received them all loose inside a box, and most of them were scratched. This is the lesser scratched one I can find, and the other ones were really, really, really scratched. See over here, it's missing kind of a bit of a paint. You gotta be careful with metal cases. I'm gonna put it in this nice plastic bag just to make sure it doesn't get scratched. But I thought it was a nice touch. And it's a full price game. I hope there's a lot of content and a lot of gameplay included, but I don't mind getting it day one. I'm a big fan of the franchise. And somewhat, out of all this that I forgot, in between, after Dead or Alive 4, there was this masterpiece that was left behind, and I forgot to talk about it, on the 3DS. I loved that, I still love it, Dead or Alive franchise, uh, Dimension, the story, the everything. It was the first full 3D game, Dead or Alive, portable Dead or Alive, might I add, also. And, uh, yeah, it was Dimension's... Uh, 2011, 2011 was a 3DS exclusive and I think it was one of my first game on my 3DS and I just love it. The only thing about having a portable Dead or Alive is when you were holding the tiniest screen of a 3DS and you're pushing the buttons and the 3DS was moving while you're doing combos, you're not quite seeing the screen uh, properly, might I add, but it was still... Very epic, still a good one. 2011, I completely forgot to talk about this, man. This video is messed up, but that was good. Still good. That's a must buy, must own for the 3DS for sure. So guys, hope you like that short story unboxing. I had to show off the whole collection since day one. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you all later on. I, I would say around 9.30 something I should be on live, I promise. I'll see you then.